Congratulations on purchasing your Clearly IP CIP 250 IP desk phone. This short training video will show you how to maximize the features and functionality, how to answer, reject, transfer, or forward an incoming call, how to initiate a call, and much more. Let's get started. Answering a call. There are three ways it is possible to answer an incoming call on your phone. Option 1. Simply pick up the handset and begin talking. Option 2. Press the speaker button. This will allow the call using the hands-free speaker. Option 3. Press the headset button. If you have a headset connected to the CIP250, then this will answer the call on your headset, allowing you to hear and speak through the connected hardware. Option 4. Press the answer soft key that will appear on your screen when an incoming call is ringing. Please note, if you are using a wired headset and your headset mode is on, then it will automatically answer the call on your connected headset. Releasing, hanging up, or rejecting a call. To disconnect the call after you are finished, simply hang up the handset or press the cancel soft key located just below the screen. To reject an incoming call, just press the reject soft key located just below the screen of the CIP250. Placing a call. There are three ways to place a call on a Clearly IP VoIP phone. Option one, pick up the handset, enter the number you wish to call on the dial pad, then press the send soft key, which is located just below the screen of the CIP250. You can also press the pound sign to initiate the call or press the check mark button on the phone. Option two, press the speaker button and dial the number you wish to connect to on the keypad. Then press either the send soft key located just below the screen, the pound key, or the check mark button on the phone to initiate the call. Option three, if there is a headset connected to your CIP250, you can press the headset key and then enter the number you wish to dial. To initiate the call, press either the send soft key located just below the screen, the pound key, or the check mark button on the phone. Placing a call on hold. There are two ways to place a call on hold. Option one, while on an active call, press the hold button located on the bottom right of the phone. It will be the second one down in the left hand column. Option two, press the hold soft key located directly underneath the screen. To release the call from hold, simply press the same button you use to hold the call. If you have multiple calls on hold, press the flashing BLF soft key of the call you wish to resume. Transferring a call. There are two methods to transfer a call, blind transfer or attended transfer. A blind transfer allows you to transfer a current call to another extension without waiting to see if the call is answered first. To initiate a blind transfer, when you are on a call, simply press the physical transfer key or the transfer soft key located just under the screen. Once you press the transfer button, enter the extension number or outside line you would like to transfer the call to. Press the same transfer button one more time to complete the transfer. An attended transfer allows you to call the extension or number to announce the caller of the incoming call. For an attended transfer, once on an active call, press the transfer button, then enter either the extension or the phone number you wish to connect the caller to and press the check mark. This will put the original caller on hold and allow you to dial the third party. Once they have been notified of who is calling for them and if they want to accept the call, you hit transfer again and it will transfer the call and connect the two parties. And just FYI, if you transfer an incoming call to an outside line, you will be taking up two of your phone lines and you will have usage for the incoming and outgoing call. Conference calls. Creating a conference call. If you are talking to someone on the phone and you need to add an additional person on the line, you'll want to create a conference call. Our phones allow for up to five callers, including the initial user, to be connected simultaneously with our conference function. Simply touch the conference button on the phone and your first call will be placed on hold. Dial the extension number 
or the phone number you wish to add to the call. Once the party has answered, then touch the conference key again to connect both lines to conference. To add additional participants, just repeat the process up to a total of five parties. Remember, in order to connect four external callers, you will need five lines to be able to complete a five-party external conference call. This is controlled by your line services, not just the capability of the phone or phone system. Splitting a conference call. You can split off a conference call by pressing the split soft key while on a conference call. This will place the callers on separate holds. You then can select the caller you wish to speak with by pushing the flashing BLF soft key and they will be the only caller taken off of hold. The mute function. The mute function allows you to stop transmitting your voice to the person on the call with you. Unlike placing the call on hold, you will still be able to hear them if they are speaking, but they will not be able to hear you. To initiate the mute function, press the mute button located to the right of the dial pad. To unmute yourself, press the button again. Change your phone status. If you are not available or do not wish to receive incoming calls, you can change your status on your phone. Press the Do Not Disturb DND soft key under the screen. This will automatically send any incoming calls to your voicemail without your phone ringing. This will also show you as DND to callers within your company. To revert to normal operation, just press the DND button again. Call History Call History is a powerful tool on Clearly IP VoIP phones. By pressing the History soft key located directly under the screen, you are presented with a list of calls that your phone has made. It will show a record of all calls made from and to the phone. Numbers are listed from most recent to oldest. Selecting a call using the direction pad and pressing the check mark button in the middle or pressing the dial soft key below the screen will initiate a call to the selected number. The call history can contain a large amount of data and by default, when you press the history button, all calls are shown in a single list. However, clearly IP phones allow you to sort those calls into categories. By pressing the right arrow key in your initial history list, your phone will sort your calls by missed calls, received calls, dialed calls, forwarded calls, answer elsewhere calls. Each of these lists can be seen by pressing the right arrow key. Eventually, it will bring you back to the list of all calls. To exit the call history screen, press the back soft key located below the screen. You may also push the option soft key. Call details will be highlighted, then press the check mark button. This will give you access to the time, date, and duration. This is also where you can get the context of your history and blacklist any numbers you do not wish to receive calls from. Call parking. Parking a call differs from placing a call on hold. When you place a call on hold, your extension is the only phone that can take that call off hold. When you park a call, you place it into a parking lot that can be accessed by any authorized user within your phone system. To park an active call, you may have a soft key park button programmed. If so, then just touch that button. If you do not have a soft key, press the transfer key and then dial the park feature code or number. If you do not know your park feature code, please speak with your system administrator. For reference, the default park feature code setup for free PBX systems is 70 and clearly cloud systems is 700. If your system is set up to announce the park key to you, once you have parked a call, you will receive and hear an automated message with the number of the parking slot. Press the transfer key to place the call into that slot or it will automatically go there. Retrieving a parked call. To retrieve a parked call, you can press the BLF park key on the screen, then pick up your handset or headset. Or you can dial the number of the slot the call is parked in and press the send soft key located below the screen 
or the pound key on the keypad to connect the call. Finding your phone's MAC address and software version. Press the check mark button twice. This will display the phone's model number of your phone, IPv4, IPv6, MAC address, firmware boot, firmware ROM, device cert, language, expansion module. There will generally be four to five listed on a screen. Additional information can be accessed using the down key on the direction keyboard. To exit this menu, press the back soft key twice located below the display. Using voicemail. How to tell if you have a new voicemail message waiting. If you have a new voicemail in your inbox, the phone will display a voicemail icon at the top and voicemail message at the bottom. There will also be a red or green flashing light depending on the model of the phone. How to check your voicemail messages. Press the voicemail button located to the right of the dial pad. This will list the messages on your screen. You can then select listen, delete, details, or more. When you select listen, it will start playing on your speakerphone or you can pick up your handset to listen. Depending on how your PBX has been configured, you may or may not need to enter a password. You can also access voicemail with the default feature code STAR98, which will allow you to access the voicemail system. STAR97 will allow you to access your direct mailbox from your phone. Ringtone. How to change your ringtone. We offer nine ringtone selections. If a user wants to customize their phone's ringtone, press the menu soft key, then go to settings, then basic settings, then ringtone. Then choose a ringtone from the list. Using the navigation buttons to listen to the options, then select the one you want by hitting the save soft key when on your selection. If your phone is set up for automatic provisioning, your phone may reset overnight when updating, resetting your phone to the default ringtone. If this is the case, you'll need to speak with your system administrator to make the change to your provisioning template. Directory. Clearly IP offers two directory options, remote contacts and local contacts. Local contacts are a contact list that you create yourself on your phone. For example, numbers you call all the time, like suppliers or contractors. Remote contacts are all the users associated with your telecom system, server contacts, and coworkers on the system. Call forward. Users have the ability to call forward their extension and incoming calls to another extension or an external phone number. This is usually for when someone is going on holidays and wants to forward their extension and calls to whoever is covering for them. Press the menu soft key button, select features, and then forward. You have the option for always, busy, or no answer. You will press the check mark for the forwarding you want to apply. You will then go to forward to and enter the extension number or phone number you want your calls to forward to. Then either enable or disable it.